Hey guys, so today we're going to be speaking briefly about the firearm licensing process in South Africa. So the process is a three-step uh, process. Step number one involves proficiency, step number two involves applying for your competency, and step number three involves licensing the specific firearms that you would like to get on your name. So step number one, proficiency, what this involves is first of all selecting which uh, types of guns that you'd like to uh, do the required training for. So there's one module that you have to do, which is uh, the knowledge of the Farms Control Act or the legal test, as we refer to it as. Um, then you can choose between handgun, shotgun, rifle and semi-auto. So once you've decided which modules you'd actually like to do and which guns you'd, or classes of guns you'd like on your name, you will need to purchase your training modules. You'll then need to take them home and complete the required uh, open book tests. So each one of these modules has an open book test, which you have to go and complete at home. The second that you finish with that, you contact us, you let us know that you're done, and we will then give you all of the available class dates, um, which you can then take your time and select. So how we run our classes, we run between two and three every week. We also run incredibly small classes, no more than four people per class. So you really get that one-on-one -on -one attention that you deserve. And uh, you, know, you can ask questions and we really make sure that you understand everything that you need to. We also actually teach you a little bit more than, than what's actually required. So it's a really, really fun environment. It's a, it's a, it's a, a supportive environment. You know, we're not here to, to show you how, uh, how, how much we know, <laughs> not at all. It's, uh, it's, it's all about you and about making sure that you're on the right level that you need to be to start the farm licensing process. So um, what this entails is you basically bring your completed books in along with a copy of your certified ID or certified copy of your ID. Then um, we will get to the written part of the test in the morning. We'll then take a short break and head off to the shooting range for the practical part of that. Okay, so after you've completed your, your day's training, um, we take a little bit of time just to go through your tests, make sure that your portfolios are, are, are up to scratch. We'll, we will then issue you with your proficiency certificates. At this point, it's time for step number two, which is applying for your competency with the South African Police Service. So what this entails is completing an application form and supplying a couple of additional documents, um, including the proficiency certificates, which you would have obtained from us at step one. Um, if this is all sounding a little bit daunting, not to worry, we do offer the service where we can handle the whole licensing process for you uh, from start to finish. Uh, that includes compiling your application for competency. All of our applications come with a money back guarantee as well. So there's no stress, no hassle, no uh, risk on your part. So once you've applied for your competency at the police, give them a couple of months. Uh, at this point, it's around about 120 working days that they have to uh, complete the, 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 the competency application process. So it can be a little bit quicker, it can also be a bit longer. There's no science behind them at the moment. However, we do guarantee that if you do it through us, you will get your certificate. Once you've received your competency certificate, now is the fun part. Now it's time to choose the firearm that you would like to license. Either you'll inherit it, you'll get it uh, gifted you from a friend, or you can purchase the firearm either from a, a private individual or a gun shop like our partners here at Gunnery Arms and Ammo. So once you've decided what gun you'd like to license, this is the third step in the process where you'll need to actually submit an application for that specific firearm. So this will include another set of police application forms, um, as well as a um, variety of, uh, of uh, attachments which, which the, the police require, as well as a detailed motivation. Now, once again, this step of the process, we are here to help. Uh, we offer the service where once again, we, comply, we complete and compile the whole application pack for you. Um, our application services include filling in all of your police documentation, we make sure that all of your attachments are correctly compiled and uh, accurate. And we also draft but usually between a 40 to 70 page detailed motivation for each and every specific firearm that you are looking to uh, license on your name. Once again, this is backed by our money back guarantee. Um, so you go and you apply at the police for that. Once again, you give them their time to uh, process that application. You'll then be issued with a little white license card, which is basically your, um, your ownership ticket. Then what you do is you take that license, you bring it back to the gun shop or the person that you purchased or um, obtained the firearm from, and uh, you then take uh, possession of your firearm and you are now an official uh, firearm owner. 
So if anyone has absolutely any questions about the process or you'd like to get uh, you know, started with it, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us. We're always happy for a chat, always here to answer any questions or queries that you might have. Um, the contact details um, are coming right up. And um, yeah, I hope that uh, this video has been helpful. And please let us know if you'd like to know absolutely anything else. Have an awesome day, guys. Cheers.